welcome back to my channel children we will start with practice test series 5 that is in continuity with the other series based on the nas questions so question 1 gagan's mother was drying grains in the sun before storing gagan asked her mother why she was doing it what answers would gagan's mother have given to decrease the moisture to prevent the attack of microorganisms Option 3, 1 and 2 both and none of these. So grains are dried or they are sun dried to decrease the moisture also and also so that the microorganisms growth or attack is prohibited. So option 3, it is the right answer for question 1. Then question 2, grains have been stored in the drum in Geeta's house. During the rainy season, Geeta's mother observed that grains were getting spoiled. What must she do, do in such a situation? So what she should do in order to protect the grains? Option, let's see the options. First is throw away the grains. Should clean the grains by washing with water. Should dry the grains in sunlight. None of these. So she should dry the grains in sunlight. So that the moisture is not there in the grain. Then option 3. Question 3. Happy used different solutions in an electric circuit. In which of the following solution bulb will not glow. So in pure water. That is not a conductor of electricity. Lemon juice will conduct electricity. It will allow the electric current to pass through it. Then salt water. It is also a conductor. So pure water is not a conductor. So the bulb will not glow in the pure water. Then question 4. How can we preserve food substances for a longer period? By drying. By making pickles. By making murabba, yes, all of these three options, first, two, second and third are the correct ones. So, all of these are true. So, answer four, option four is the right answer. Then, the fifth question. Radhika performed an activity of burning magnesium ribbon in the class. Which substance is formed during this activity? Answer is metal. On reacting with oxygen produces metallic oxide. So metal oxides are produced and magnesium is a metal. So on reaction with oxygen it will produce magnesium oxide. Question 6. Surinder heard fire was breaking out in the neighboring house. He called the fire brigade number. When they came he saw that firemen have put on some specially designed uniform made of dash which is highly fireproof and heat resistant fire and heat resistant the uniform is fire and heat resistant so what is the uniform made up of so the uniform must be made up of melamine because it is fireproof and heat resistant also then question 7 hasan has some substances like coal iron aluminium and copper from which of these group of substances wires can be formed the option are iron coal copper aluminium iron copper coal aluminium copper none of these so the answer is aluminium iron and copper because these group of substances this group of substances the wires are formed they are ductile and they are highly conducting also Question 8. Amit wants to buy a silk sari for her mother, but he does not have enough money. His friend suggested him to buy dash, which has same properties of silk and also is cheaper than silk. So rayon is cheaper than silk and has the same quality as that of silk. Then question 9. 
Teacher taught the students that due to air pollution, the carbon dioxide gas increase in air, which leads to global warming. What are the effects of global warming? Increase in temperature, rise in sea level. Yes, both of these are true. Melting glaciers do melt because of the global warming. We have seen it in the news so many times. So one, two, and three, all of these are right. So option four, that is all the above is the right answer for question number nine. That is fourth option is the right one. Then question 10. Neha has read in the science book that chemical released from smoke of vehicles cause acid rain. What are those chemical substances? Oxide of nitrogen, oxides of sulfur. Yes, both are true. So option three is the right answer. Then 11th question. Rajinder went to Delhi in the June vacation to visit zoo. In zoo, he saw a national animal tiger. His teacher told him that tiger is an endangered species. Rajinder asked his teacher about the book where record of such endangered species. What would his teacher have told him? So this question we have done earlier also. The answer is in the red data book, all of the record pertaining to the endangered species is kept. Then question 12. Aman was going to his uncle's home through a forest. He saw that some persons were cutting trees. He suggested them not to cut the trees so that. So why would be he saying like that? Not to cut the trees. Because let's see the options. First option is soil erosion to be prevented. Second, to save living places, organisms, to save living organisms or places of the organisms. Then third, to maintain the balance of oxygen. So all of the above three are true. They are the right answer. So option four, that is all of the above is the right answer. Then question 13. The teacher told the students about binary fission. Which of the following statements about binary fission is correct? Binary fission occurs in Hydra? No. Binary fission is a type of sexual reproduction? No, it is a type of asexual reproduction. Both 1 and 2, this, it is also not right. So answer 4, that is none of these is the right answer. Then question 14, which of the following? Rita and Sunita were talking about various processes existing in animals. Which of the following processes does not exist in animals? So the here the right answer is children, we, we don't have chlorophyll pigment, green colored pigment, we don't have, we don't have chloroplasts. Animals do, don't have chloroplasts. So chloroplasts, what do they do? They help in respiration, they help in photosynthesis. That is why this option three, humans or animals, these processes, they eat the photosynthesis, it is the process of manufacturing of food by the plants, by the use of carbon dioxide, water, sunlight. So it happens in plants and not in animals. So this option three is the right answer for question number 14. Then question 15, Rita and Sunita. Yes, this is done. Photosynthesis. Question 16. I think this question is repeated. Yes, this is the same question. Question 14 and 15 are same. So here also the option 3 is the right answer. That is photosynthesis. Then moving on to 16th question. Apneet knows that fusion of male and gam female gametes is known as fertilization. Which of the following is formed as a result of fertilization? So we know this question is also repeated. Earlier we have done it. This is zygote. Then question 17, Manpreet wants to know which of the following can be used to reduce friction. So ball bearings, this can reduce the friction. One day, question 18, one day on a railway station, Arnav observed that people were carrying suitcase fitted with wheels. He asked his teacher about this. His teacher told that wheels are helpful in carrying heavy luggage. Why this is so? So the answer is sliding friction 
is more than rolling friction? Option 1 is the right answer. Question 19. Rohit beats a school drum and Vinay blows a whistle. Which one has high frequency? Option 19. Question 19. Option 2. Whistle has a higher frequency. So option 2 is the right answer for question number 19. Then question 20. Dogs, owls and dolphins are animals. Out of these animals, dash can hear ultrasound. So which of these can hear ultrasound? Ultrasound are the sound waves with higher frequencies. That is frequencies higher than the upper audible limit of human hearing. That is 20,000 hertz, more than 20,000 hertz. So here, uh, dogs option, we can see dogs, bats, dolphins and all the above. So here the option is, fourth option is the right answer. As all of these animals, they these animals can hear ultrasound. That is the frequency, sound frequency more than 20,000 hertz. Then question 21. While switching on the bulb, Mohit saw that the filament inside the bulb glows. The glowing of filament of bulb is due to the heating effect of current, magnetic effect, physical, chemical. It is due to the heating effect of current. Actually, the wire gets heated and then it starts to glow. And this you can also see in the heater also heater and certain blowers etc then question 22 the teacher asked the students to arrange the forces in a decreasing manner of their friction means in a where the friction is reduced that is uh, we have to put it in a decreasing order static sliding rolling second option rolling sliding static third option sliding static rolling and fourth is rolling static sliding so we know that static friction is more than sliding and then the rolling friction so it ha it is the least amount of friction so that option one is the right answer that is in the decreasing order 23 question while returning from the school ram saw a metallic rod taller than the building is installed in the walls of the building one end of the rod is kept out in the air and the other is buried deep in the ground when sham inquires from ram what was the response among the following options so here option three that that rod in the building is a lightning conductor so that the, when it strikes the lightning strikes in the sky then the extra amount of electricity it is passed to the earth question 24 puberty age in females is 12 to 14 years it is the age 12 years when the puberty starts it is a step towards becoming an adult. So puberty age in female starts at age 12. So option three is here is the right answer. Then question 25. Smog is formed from. So children as the name tells smog. It is made up of two words. Smoke and fog. So option three smoke and fog is the right answer see sm it is taken from sm smoke word first two alphabets of sm and og the last two alphabets of fog so option three smoke and fog is the right answer question 26 a ray of light strikes a mirror as shown in the diagram by the reflected ray is Which one of this is the reflected ray? See, here the incident ray is striking a plane mirror. Then they have made different three, four different types of reflect, reflected rays. So we know that angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. So this angle, this is the normal over here. So this is angle I and this is angle R. 
this ray, the angle at which it strikes the surface, it will reflect it back at the same angle. So that angle I and angle R are equal according to the laws of reflection. So here the answer, Kiran B, ray B, it is this one. This is the right answer. This is this would be the right ray for this incident ray. This is this would be the right reflected ray. Then question 27. Neha saw the moon and stars in the night sky, one of which was very bright. She asked her elder brother, and her brother told her that this star is located on the Earth's axis. It is called Gash Star. So, what is the name of the star that appears stationary at the same place? Because it is located on the Earth's axis, this is the pole star. Question 28. Which gas is responsible for global warming? For global warming, we all know this gas is released from the vehicles and it adds to pollution and increase in temperature. So answer option 1. Yes, it is the carbon dioxide gas. Then question 29. Nina reached aunt's house, but her aunt had gone to vaccinate her son or get her son vaccinated. Why children are vaccinated? Because to develop antibodies in the body. Last question of this test series. Which microorganism is found in the root nodules of leguminous plants? Rhizobium is the microorganism that is found in the root nodules of the leguminous plants. Leguminous plants are all the plants having like beans, peas, pulses, having pods in them. So all of these are leguminous plants. And this type of microorganism, rhizobium, bacteria, it is found in the root nodules of these plants. So option two is the right answer for question number 30 of this test series. So children, that's all for this test series one, five, and we'll meet in the next video with test series 6.